very thankful that all of you have come out and have supported it, encouraged these events for us, you know, and, and uh, you know, encouraging us to hold more events like this um, and allowing us to, you know, uh, I guess spread the knowledge that the Ehlubet have given us, that Allah has given us. Um, with that, I would like to request Moana Saab to continue with the program. <coughs> Allah. Allah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه المستعين وهو خير الناصر المعين There are many verses in the Holy Quran that talk about the Prophet Muhammad Sallam Any verse which we have not seen the tafsir of we have not seen the implications of If a person says is there a, is there a verse in the Holy Quran about the Prophet Muhammad Sallam then you should say any verse that we do not see its extension, we do not see its mislaq and the implications of it outside, they are about the Prophet Muhammad Yes everyone? When you say, Ajjallahu Ta'ala Farajahu Al-Sharif or Ajjallahu Ta'ala Farajah meaning may Allah hasten may Allah hasten in his coming, his honorable coming he is the hope and desire of all the prophets and all the imams He is the one that they all prayed for and they all have waited for. There are many, many traditions about him. But the most important tradition, it is Musahab, everyone, to recite Surah Qadr in the first rakat of every namaz. Surah Qadr. Which one is it? Which is Surah Qadr? Is Musahab to be decided in the first month? Why is Musahab? It's better that you recite Surah Qadr in the first month of every namaz. The ulama say, if a person says, what is the proof on the existence? The first and the most important proof is Surah Qadr on the existence of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu How? Because it says, تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا بِإِذْنَ رَبِّهِ مِنْ كُلِّ عَمْرِ Angels and Jibrail or Ruh descend, not they descended, not they once came in the lifetime of the Holy Prophet, but they still descend, Tanazzalo, continuous. They still even today continuously come on every grand night or every night of Pava or Laylatul Qadr. They come down, the angels and Ruh, they come down to the earth. In the time of the Holy Prophet, they all came down to the Holy Prophet. And after him, who did they come down to? <laughs> and after Muhammad Ali Salam, until the Prophet Muhammad Salam. Even today, in every grand night, the, the you know the, every night of power, the angels and Ruh Amin. If it is Hazrat Jibril or someone else, which other angels it may be, the Ruh Al Amin, it comes down. Who is it? They come down onto. They all come down onto the Prophet Muhammad. That is the biggest proof on the existence of the Muhammad Salam that the angels still come. Now, a person may say to you, you know, they come on to the Mu'mineen, general Mu'mineen. The only angel we'll ever see is <laughs> the angel of death. Malakul Maut. May Allah delay in his coming. For the Prophet, we say, may Allah hasten in his coming, you know. Jaldi ayin. But for the angel of death, we say, the later he comes, the better. So that is the only angel that we will see. We will not see the other angels. They come on. The other proof from the same ayat. We have in Rabbihim in Kulle Amr. They bring the news of every affair to that person. What is Kulle Amr? Kulle Amr. Amr. One of the Amr is, We yes aluna ka anar ruha kulle ruha min Amr Rabbi. One of the affairs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the soul, the spirit, who will part this year and who will come, you know, the new, you know, the new birth and the, the death during this year. They're all given to the Imam Al Salam. Kulli Amr. Every affair is brought down to the Imam Al Salam. You can imagine how important this verse is. The tafsir I cannot go on to because I want to just give you many different ayat from the Holy Quran. But Ayatullah Allah Maqabat Tabai, Rahmatullahi Alayh, has gone into great detail in many of the other ulama explaining what are all the different Amr, Umur, plural, that the angels bring to the Prophet Imam Al Salam. They are serving the Prophet Muhammad 
There are many other verses. One of the verses that I want to talk about is from Surah Anbiya. وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الزَّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ الذِّكْرِ أَنَّ لَأَرَضَى يَرِثُهَا عِبَادِ الصَّالِحُونَ And surely we have written in فِي الزَّبُورِ uh, Zabur is, you know, the Psalms of David wrote in the book after a reminder. Zabur, because you see the translation uh, he's using is probably from the Sunni translation, so he doesn't want to mention it. <laughs> Even previously we had a, the, the same translator. Abdullah Yusuf Ali is a Sunni translator. He was a Bohra, but later on he, he, he probably became a, a, a Sunni. There are two major translations in English which are Shia. There are many, but two major ones from the past. Ahmed Shakir, you know Shakir's translation, and Mir Ahmad Ali from India, from Madras. These are two excellent translations. Mir Ahmad Ali or Shakir, one of them is, he basically has improved the works of the other one. So I think probably Mir Ahmad Ali translated it first, and then Shakir has improved his translation. So you'll find. Now the best translation today is from Sayyid Ali Uli Karai. He's in Qom. He was in America. He's, I think, a professional. I think he's an engineer or something. And later on, after the Iranian revolution, he just went to Iran and wanted to serve. He translated many different books into English. He's from Hyderabad, Dakkar. You have good people there as well. <laughs> that was only a sarcastic note. He, his translation is probably the best translation so far. The best translation that we have today in the Shia world. It is according to the Tafsir of Ahlul Bayt. And the English is to the, one of the highest levels. He is a, you know, is a, is a graduate from, from England. Um, he's about in 50 at the most, and his translation is probably the best. If you refer to the Shia translations, then you will not find the flaws, you know, the major flaws that the people have intentionally left out or have changed the meanings. You know, for example, Abdullah Yusuf Ali says, Abbas Abba Tawalla, the one who made a, uh, you know, a front face, you know, like, was the Holy Prophet of <coughs> While the Shia Tafasir all say that it was Uthman. So you have to look at the translator, who's translating it, and they sometimes write the name. The I doesn't say the name. But they, they want to say who it is for, so they just write the wrong name. If it's a Shia translation, then he will look at the tafsir of Ahlul Bayt and then he will write the right name. So Zabur, in this surah, surah Anbiya, surah number 21, item 105, it says, وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي Zabur." We have written in the Psalms of David. There are four major books that were revealed to the four prophets. First one is, Torah or Torah revealed to Hazrat Musa, Moses. Second one, Zabur, Psalms of David. Third one, Injil, um, the, the New Testament. The New Testament for Hazrat Isa, Bible because it comprises of both Old Testament, Torah, Zabur and Injil, all three. That's what's called the Bible. I didn't know that until some recent years. I can't remember when few years ago, you know, four or five years ago, when I started going to the church, they said, no, the Bible doesn't mean just Injil. And, you know, it's the New Testament that is in Jeep, and the Bible basically is all three. Torah, Zabur, and Jeep. Anyway. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we have it in the Old Testament, the Zabur. Zikr is uh, the Musa's book, so we have written it in all of these books. And this is a verse from the Holy Quran. Annal Arda, what have we written? He says, Annal Arda, that the earth will be inherited by my righteous servants. Anna al-Arda yarithwa ibadi as-salihun. Ibadi is plural of abd. Abd, servant. The Holy Prophet is called wa ashaduna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. Even before he is a rasool, he is an abd of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Surah Bani Israel says, Subhanal ladhi asra bi abdihi ila al-masjid al-aqsa ladhi barak na hawl. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, being a servant, being an abd is higher than everything else. Because he is truly the one who serves me. He is the one who truly does my ibadah. Now, ibad, whenever you say in the in the namaz, you say assalamu alaykum, assalamu alaykum, ayyuhun nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, assalamu alaykum wa ala ibadillah salim. That ibadillah are the twelve imams. Because the plural of ab, so the ibad are the imams, the twelve imams. Many of you ulama say. Now, in this verse it says, they will be inherited. Now again, anna al-arda, the land he has said. Ard is the earth. And it says, Al-Ard, not the earth, but whole of the earth. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. All praise be to Allah. Not the praise is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is everyone following me? So it is, Al comes for Istagharaq many times in Arabic. For all. So Alhamdulillah 